Hello dear Pisces, welcome. Okay, so this is a reading for February 2023. It's a bonus love reading. So let's see what's going on for you guys. What is happening here? We have... Okay, Divine Blueprint. Okay, so what's a di Divine Blueprint? Let's see. They are going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and this connection. Okay. And crossing you, we have Twin Flame. Oh boy. So here we are, Twin Flames. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. Okay, and the general energy around you is grieving. They're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. This person feels like, okay, lost hope here. But they're feeling it very, you know, I feel like they're feeling too late. They just, they discovered this too late. Okay, so now in the past we have unfounded fear. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them blocked in anxiety and unable to act upon their love. That's the past energy. So let's see what's going on. Possibly coming in in the near future for you. We have, ooh, the mask. They want to remove the mask. They no longer, or, or wait, they want to remove the mask they have been wearing and to have enough and to be brave enough to reveal their true feelings that you know the clouds are coming out now and and the, see it goes in and out it's so hard sometimes for me to read these cards when that happens okay then what is coming in for you is beauty and grace they find you're extremely beautiful or handsome but your beauty or handsomeness intimidates them they think someone else is more deserving Okay, and the outside influences we have is betrayal. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better. And maybe that's how they feel. Maybe it's true. For some of you it will be and some of you won't. And how people see you. And so the gods favor you. Now is the time. Your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. Okay. Things are going in your favor. Okay, now your hopes and fears. We have sexual union. The greatest sex memory is with you. But it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. <clears throat> See, they want to talk to you. As soon as I get into that, <clears throat> that's stirring something in someone. Because my, my voice is getting all scratchy. Okay, now what's the possible outcome? We have breaking free. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. And then we also have game over. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted efforts. Yeah, they make half-hearted efforts. Forget it. And then, what am I doing these backwards? <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> okay, and then we have gossip. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting um, not only their judgment but their vision to it. Yeah, see, people like it. When people are jealous, they start rumors, they start trouble. It's horrible. And then we have passion ignited. Okay, this one I have to cover. Let's see. Certain ones, I don't want to get in trouble, so I want to cover. Oh, I need a cover. I need a cover. <laughs> Let me find something to cover. Okay, here we go. All right, so when I put this one down, we have, I don't I think it's, she's somewhat covered, but I don't want to take any chances. So Passion Ignited, there, um, there's an intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. Okay, let me put this over here get my, my feathers out of the way put it that way okay now and then we have um well this goes on top of here I don't see you have boundaries but that goes on top of here I just want to make sure I cover cover her cover her here okay there we go very good okay 
a lot of passion here. Pisces, a lot of passion. Okay, so now, why do we have the Divine Blueprint here? What is the Divine Blueprint here? We have here, ooh, we have the sun, illumination and growth. Yeah, this person is waking up realizing how strong it is that you make them happy. And they know that. And now, you know, they're realizing, they, you know, this is, a, of course, it makes sense with the twin flame too. A lot of, a lot of passion, a lot of fire here. We have the sun, we have the twin flame, and we have the passion ignited. Yeah, a lot of passion. Let's get the twin flame we have. Woo, we have the knight of wands, passion and adventure. Yeah. This whole thing is all about passion. So we have a Knight of Wands. They want to come towards you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see. Knight of Wands. Get a charm. And we have Elephant Memories. Yep. They, they can't forget you. Elephant never forgets. Okay, now this grieving here. Why, why is it grieving here? We have... Oh, we have the Five of Swords, Mind Games, and Control. And you know... There's someone was trying to play mind games. I also think I really feel a strong energy when I tap into this. It doesn't feel like them. It feels like outside of them. It feels like someone was manipulating them and playing with them, having fun. This person didn't realize it, though. They thought this family or the friends that they were on their side, they weren't. Okay, the unfounded fear caused by people saying stuff like gossip and starting trouble. That's what that's all about. Okay, so charging ahead. So in the past, they want to charge ahead. Maybe they did charge ahead to some of you. Maybe they're planning on it. This could be the very recent past that this is what they they decided to do. Just come forward. So um, cancer energy. Okay, okay, the mask. Let's see about the mask. They want to show you the real them. Yeah, six of wands, success, recognition. They want to come out. They want to show you how they really feel and and who they really are. They want a victory with you. Okay, and this one is beauty and grace or handsomeness. Let's see. We have oh two of cups divine partnership. There is a there is a reunion coming in for some of you guys if you want it. If you don't want it, then absolutely not. But if you want it, it's coming. So now we have the betrayal. And I really do think this is other people's influence that is causing them to think this way. Is I don't I feel it's whoever I'm really tapping into, their energy doesn't feel nasty. It doesn't feel like betrayal. But then again, there's gonna be some that absolutely. But it's okay, they're having power. Divine intervention. Something's coming crashing down. Things are gonna be revealed, things are gonna be exposed here. Okay, now the gods favor you, you're protected. So no matter what happens, I feel you have the protection. Okay, and the tower is Aries Scorpio energy. And we have Page of Wands, excitement, curiosity. This person's coming towards you with an offer. Um, a letter, a, a email, a phone call, something. We have a dolphin. It's very playful, very a lot of love here. Um, very, yeah, very playful and loving here when they come towards you. Page of Wands. Because they know who you are. Okay. Oops, I'm knocking the page down. Oh, say so breaking free. Let's see what's going on with the breaking free. We have okay, we have the ten of wands, the end of these burdens, the heavy burdens are coming to an end. Things are gonna get a lot lighter, a lot easier for you. Now this game over card, let's see. Mm, King of Wands. Isn't that interesting? We have the page. The knight and the king of wands. A lot of passion and desire. You definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. Or this person is a very passionate. Okay, we have here a bird. Communication. There's definitely... This person is coming towards you with communication no matter what. Even no matter what they have to do. But I'm glad they're going to show up as a king. Start up a knight. Then they go to a page. And then they <laughs> go to a king. So in the end, they're a king. So I like that. What about the gossip? Why do we have this gossip? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Wise investment. They're going to overcome these people telling them the wrong thing. And they're coming. This might also be a very wise investment coming towards you. Outside of this connection here. Oh, we do have the Queen of Swords. Okay, so I think this is your energy. Um, you're sharp and you're assertive. And they know they have to come to you correctly. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it could be any sign. But I feel like this is your sign. I mean, your energy. And you're very wise. Here's the owl. They know that. 
They know they can't pull the wool over your eyes. It's not going to happen. Because you're in the Queen of Swords mode here. Okay, so now, male or female does not matter. Let's see what else we have for you guys. What else? We have here, ooh, the Three of Cups. Okay, they're going to come in and ask you out to go out and have a good time. We have the King of Wands again. They want to romance you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person has a lot of passion in them. Also could be a Cancer. Here we have the Crab. They might seem a little tough on the outside, but they're soft inside. And you know what? This person might come out of the, like sideways. Every time I see the crab, I think the crab on, on the on the sand, on the you know ground, they walk sideways. So they might come out like on the side. They're not gonna come straight towards you. They're gonna um they want to sort of surprise you, I think. King of Wands. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. We have here ooh, the ace of wands, a passionate new beginning. I like this. This person really wants to make sure that they want to sweep you off your feet. They want a passionate new start. One that you won't forget. They want to wine and dine you. Let's see. We have here. And they're undecided about how actually to do this. Two of swords. But they, here we have the queen of cups. They see you as a queen of cups too. They see you as very loving, nurturing, caring. But also when, you know, you're not going to put up their bull, but they also see a very loyal, trustworthy. A big heart. Intuition is very strong here, too, and they know that. They know they got to come in there here correctly. Can't go messing around here. What else we have? Magician. They're trying to manifest this. For me, the magician's Aries and Aquarius energy. You know, they're, they're working really hard to try to figure out how to make this happen. And they see you as the high priestess too. Virgo, Cancer, energy. Um, very strong, very intuitive. They know you have options. And they want to balance things out with your Taurus energy here. Yeah, they want to make sure that things are balanced. They also see you as an empress, which is Taurus and Libra energy. But I think this person sees you as very creative. Um, very unique. You know your worth. And they know that. So they can't, they might be able to fool other people. But they cannot fool you because you know, you know your worth. You're not going to let them get away with anything. Also, this could be, you know, they want to birth something new with you. You could also be focusing right now on your money, on birthing something new, on some kind of creative project. And that you're focused on that. Maybe that's why they surprise you when they come in. Because you're, you're focused on doing your own thing. You know, I don't think you even think about this person really. I think it's more like I, I have something I have to pay attention to. This person, they're doing whatever they're doing. And it's like almost, okay, if, you, if they show up, fine. If they don't, fine. That's what I feel like for a lot of you guys. But some of you know you definitely want this. Okay, so let's see here. Why do we have the King of Wands over here? Or on this side. We have Lover married desire okay this this person wants to be your lover and desires to be married i don't for some of you they might be married but i don't feel that okay what about this king of wands we have before caring reveal hmm Something happened before they were able to reveal how much they care for you. Something happened. Something came in between you. And they, I think they were just on the verge of, of opening up to you and, the, and something happened. That's not going to be for everyone. But let's see about this Queen of Cups we have here. Reject. Memories. Karma. Okay. So you might reject them because of the memories you have of whatever happened here. And because of the karma, maybe, you know, you just don't want to deal with this. Some of you are going to want to want this, but some of you aren't. Now, let's see, what about this Knight of Wands? And we have Career, Love, Unknown. Okay. So something's unknown about someone's career. I don't, This person loves you, but they, they might not really know what you do for a living now. It might have been a long time since you've seen each other. So it might be unknown. They might be doing something different. 
And of course, take it how it resonates. It might be something totally different. Okay, what about this page of wands? We have Apology Clock Tower. Okay, so here's a tower. This is Scorpio Aries energy. Someone's going to surprise you. They're going to come in. They want to talk. They want to apologize. They're coming in. Page of um, Cups here. With an, a page of Cups. Page of Wands with an apology. Harry Scorpio energy. Some kind of surprise. Of what they say or how they say it or something's going to surprise you. They're going to shock you though. Okay, what about this Queen of Swords? And we have Finances after a tower. Okay, so here's something shocking happening here. You might find out after some after me. I don't know, but this this way maybe. I always like to put the tower first, but it doesn't have to be. Um, Aries Scorpio energy, some kind of surprise about finances after. Okay, let's see. Let's get a clarifier on the finance form. Let's see if we get information on that. And we have here. Okay, someone has some hidden secret money. You might find out about that after they appear, after they surprise you, that might come out. Okay, so let's see here. I think I got all the people. Yeah. Let's see what signs we have for you. What are the signs here for Pisces? What are the signs? We have Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Gemini. Scorpio and Virgo. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement on other people's chart, past, present, future. We have Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, and Virgo. Now we'll do the letters. 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initials for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know the middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. B T T N Y Z S Oh, what was that? I think it's an I. Do I have an I here? It was an I, so it must be the... Yeah, it was a J. Okay, J. And we have D W M. Okay, so letters we have today are B T T N Y Z S J D W M. Okay, now for the names. Let's get eleven or more names. What names are that? What are the names? I don't know if I have enough here, but let's see. Let's see, let's see. So we have Kathy with a K. And Jackie, J-A-C-Q, what, J-A-Q-U-E. Okay, J-A-Q-U-E. Then we have Aaron, E-R-I-N. And Liz. And we have Jeff, G-E-O-F-F, -F, Floor, F-L-O-R, Barbara, and Charles, June, Dirigent, I, I, I did have this written down how to pronounce it and I lost that paper. I'm so sorry. This D H I R A J and then we have Zachary. Okay. I'm surprised I actually have enough here. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly eleven. Awesome. Okay guys, so those are the names. Now remember these are general readings, they are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if it does not resonate you know, your other placements can um, might resonate more. The sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.